Dr. Almeida Wright and Mr. Nile Ford is so good to have you here. It's good to be here. Um, Pleasure to be here. You uh, lecture in our series on agency and joy. Um, Dr. Wright, I wanted to ask you a question because last year, actually mm -hmm. last May, mm -hmm. <laughs> May of last year, you were here with Dr. Wimberly and you lectured on memory and joy. And mm -hmm. then you talked about a concept called black joy. Mm -hmm. Can you just, uh, and you started your lecture with that as well, can you tell me what Black Joy is? Out of the research last year, and even going into the research that Niall and I were doing this year, we really looked at the multi-dimensional nature of Black Joy. So out of all the songs and dance and music that we studied last year, we saw that Black Joy was not just one thing. It kind of defied easy categorization, but for us, we distilled that down to really thinking about Black Joy as um, something that is yearned for. Mm -hmm. So it's the type of thing that you see people throughout their life looking for it, yearning to experience it, searching for it. But we also saw that black joy was embodied. So it went beyond like what we could say or even write to just kind of ways of being. Like there is something about that embodies black joy with swag. Like when you see somebody going or in music or in food or in dance or something like that. We also looked at the ways that black joy is chosen and cultivated so that there's sometimes, and necessarily so, an intentionality about saying that while the circumstances or situation may not actually be joyful, I'm going to choose joy or choose um, to operate or look for joy in this particular moment or in this particular part of my life. We also recognize that jo um, joy was um, what we call vertical and um, horizontal and that Joy came from our relationships with each mm -hmm. other or in our relationships with each other, but also transcendent um, in terms of l what we see or how we're invited into different life experiences with God. And also looking at different dimensions of it around joy in the environment, joy mm -hmm. like when you're walking in nature, joy um, in love or in encounters with kind strangers even. So it's not even just that it's with familiar people. And so we saw these many different um, sides of it and then finally we wrestled with the idea that black joy is also resistance mm. there is something to be said about um, choosing joy but exhibiting joy in the face of injustices that says being joyful in this moment is an act of resistance mm. um, and so there are times when we often talk about joy and sorrow joy um, and tribulation kind of being sides of the same coin or working together, but there's something that says when I choose joy or when I exhibit joy, I'm also resisting sometimes the pressures or the systems that are working against me. So 